We've brought you stories all week from communities evacuated by these floodwaters. And today that brings us now to the large community of St. Joseph. A portion of town behind the levee system is now under a mandatory evacuation. Our Stephanie Kayser is live along the Missouri River, which is near an all time record level today. Stephanie. We're at the bank of the Missouri River here at the Riverfront Park in St. Joe. Now, the water here is at a near record level. Now, I want to point your attention to this sign back here. This would be where the trail near the river uh, would normally be. Now, today, hundreds of people were under a mandatory evacuation. We spoke with people as they packed up what they could and drove to higher ground. Oh, I grabbed everything I had in the house. Joe Graves is packing it all up. Beds are just one bed anyway, TV couch. He's been here 40 years and doesn't want everything washed away if the floods come. As soon as I can find a place for my lab, then we'll be taken off. This morning, police were only letting residents go back into this neighborhood off of Alabama Street to grab necessities. Uh, we just took clothes and dogs and kids. So. The nearby gas station was full of people fueling up and heading out. This neighborhood was under a mandatory evacuation. Chopper 5 flew over the area. 1,500 people live here and 7,500 people work down here. Some homes are already underwater. So is the Heritage Sports Complex and the Nature Center. The Red Cross set up a shelter at the Keys Christian Church. That's where we met Linda Roberts. Grab my dog <laughs> and his carrier and a few clothes for each one of us and all of our medicine. She and her husband plan to stay the night here. She's hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. City officials tell us residents won't be let back into their homes until the river drops down to 30 feet. They say the levees are in good condition, but with so much fluctuation over the past week and with the flooding we've seen up north in Nebraska, they're not taking any chances. We're live here in St. Joe, Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Stephanie.